Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the C Sharp video tutorial series. Today we're going to look at file output, which is a really important part of programming. So we're going to do another project, new project, empty, and we'll call it file outputs and start it. Create a source file. Add new item, code file. And I'm going to call this one main.cs. So I'm going to actually give this one a title, the whole project where this is the main chunk of it. Okay, great. So we're going to start off by using system. And we're also going to be using system.io. And then we're going to declare a class. And this is going to be write file public static void main function. Okay, the first step in writing to an output file is to declare the class type. So we'll do file info space and I'm, we're just gonna call this the letter T and we're gonna equal a new instance of file info and inside these parentheses we're going to give it a name so we'll just call this output file dot txt so let's do control F5 and just make sure this works yes and our program works perfectly so now we're going to go to the next line below this and we're going to type this stream writer and we're just gonna call this text and this is gonna equal t dot create text and I'm sorry I spelled create wrong create text once we've declared this then we can access the the text variable we'll do text dot and this is just like console text dot right line and inside parentheses we're gonna go here and we're just gonna type print this to file. So this is going to be printed to a file and then we'll do text.close. Okay, so before we run this program, let's do file and then we'll do save all. Excellent. So then control F5. So now I should have written this out to a, to a file. So we'll go to the start menu and then go to documents, Visual Studio 2005 and then projects, which is where all the projects that we've been working on are stored. And we see that we have this file output folder. We'll open this. And inside here we have a, the other project folder, so we're just going to open this project folder. And inside the bin directory, we'll see a debug folder. Yes, and now we're where we want to be. So we want to make sure that we get into the projects folder, then file output, and then file output again, the binary folder the debug folder and then here's where we're going to find the executable file which is this file right here and here is the output file that we created so we'll open this and here it is it says print this to file perfect now let's delete this gone okay so we'll just minimize this let's modify this program just a little bit so we're gonna keep this output file txt we're gonna keep everything except we're going to go above this right line and we're going to create a while loop while actually I'm sorry let's declare an integer and this is just going to be X and we're just going to get this equal to a set no value so equals zero and we're going to make a loop so that you can type in as many numbers as you want but the second you do a number that's below zero so a negative number is going to knock out of the loop so we'll do the do while loop. Let me just get rid of the output window here. So do while x is greater than or equal to zero and then end the semicolon. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna prompt the user console dot right line. We're gonna say enter a number and I'm sorry, we're gonna make this a dot right instead of a dot right line. And then we'll do x equals console dot read line function. And remember that we have to do something to this, right? Because it's going to be coming in as a string. So we'll do int dot parse and encase the read line within parentheses. So now we're going to take in an x. So we're going to grab this x and then we're going to check the x. So we're going to say if x is greater than or equal to zero, 
and then we'll have a little piece right here where we add it to the file. So we're going to do text dot right line, and we're going to have X. And once that prints out to the file successfully, I'm going to take this, I'm going to edit this, I'm going to get rid of this. So text dot right line X to the file, and then we're going to do to the to the user, we're going to tell them console dot right line. We'll say the X had X added to file. Okay, so what this should do is as you type in a number, as long as it is greater than or equal to zero, it's going to enter it in there. And we're also going to have an else, and then we'll say to the user, console.writeLine, exit, exiting. So if you put in a number that's outside of that range, it's going to tell the user it's exiting, and then this is going to knock it out, and then we're going to close the output file. So let's do control F5. Enter a number, 10, 10 added to file, 20, 20 added to file, 100, 100 added to file, 0, 0 added to file, negative 1, exiting. So let's go back to this debug folder, and here we have output. Great, and then we have these numbers right here. So let's see what happens if we run this program again. We'll do control F5, we'll do 5, 10, 2, 3, 4, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four zero, one two, six seven eight nine zero one 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 negative five hundred. Okay, let's take a look at the file. Aha! It overwrote overwrote the file. So, do some research. Figure out how you can append to this file. What we're going to do is we're going to come back in the next video and we're going to learn how to read this data from this external file.